This week on Ninja Lab, we're covering the second to last week of qualifiers, which was jam-packed with events held at Syracuse Ninja Barracks, Skyland Ninja Warrior, High Exposure, Camp Rhino, Traverse Fitness, Axios Warrior Academy, Grips Gin, Ultimate Ninjas, Level Up, Alternate Roots, and True Function Ninja Training Ground. Hello, my name is William, and we're going to start things off with Axios Warrior Academy. With the adult male division, in second place was Jesse. Guys, that's Desmond. a very uh, similar Jesse course to what you might see. Jesse was pretty good early on in the course, yeah, getting through his challenge nice, 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 like nice, Stair Hopper nice, and nice. the Bookshelves. However, when he encountered the Curved Dominoes, he was unable to maintain his balance and fell at the end of the obstacle, stopping his run. But the good news is that he qualifies for the World Championship. Rashid was able to make it a few obstacles further than Jesse, including completing the swivel steps, the cargo net, and the pegboard. But unfortunately, his pace was just not fast enough as he climbed out on the court. But the good news is that he still qualifies for the World Championship. Remember everyone, the National Ninja League Season 5 World Championship is this Friday. February 21st at night is when the event starts. It will run for three days. So the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. Go to nationalninja.com for information about spectator tickets. They are still available. And if you want to watch it live on YouTube, you can do so right on this channel. Make sure you subscribe to know when the streams go live. We will be streaming all age groups, so you can watch whichever group of people you want, regardless if it's a friend, a family member, or you just want to see your favorite competitors, or you just want to see whoever. Doesn't matter. But anyway, let's continue with the results for Camp Rhino. For the adult female division, in first place was Maddie Howard. Maddie qualified for the National Ninja League World Championship by completing 8 of the 15 obstacles. In third place for the adult male division was Arnold Hernandez, who also completed 8 of the 15 obstacles and qualified for the World Championship. In second place was Darren Perez, who finished the entire course with a time of 7 minutes and 35.48 seconds. And in first place was Tanner Ross, who qualified for the National Ninja League World Championship by completing the entire course with a time of 7 minutes and 35.02 seconds. That's right, less than a full second difference. It's now time for the comment question of the week. Here's my question for all of you. What obstacle do you think will be at the World Championship course this year? The course is very secret. I don't even know what it is. They won't tell me. I Trust me. I tried to get them to tell me. They won't tell me. But I want you to write down a type of obstacle that you think is going to appear on the course this year. Let me know in the comments below. And now it is time for our fast forward. For Skylands Ninja Warrior in the adult male division, in third place was Joe Capo who completed the spider swing. In second place was Joshua Gillow who completed the floating monkey peaks. And in first place was Michael Kuzma who completed, who completed the circuit board 
and qualified for the World Championship, just in time too. For the adult female division, in second place was Karen Hart, who completed triple peaks, and in first place, who had the best performance of anyone, male or female, was Abby Clark, who completed the Devil Steps, which is one obstacle further than Michael did, making Abby only the third female to have the best overall score for the adult division. For Traverse Fitness, for the adult female division in second place was Emily uh, Tussie, who uh, made who qualified for the World Championship, and in first place was Denise Levette, who also com- uh, qualified for the World Championship by completing two more obstacles than Emily. For the adult male division, in third place was Carter Ray, who made eight obstacles in. In second place was Talon Green, who, who, who finished nine of the ten obstacles. Both the previous two people I just mentioned qualified for the World Championship. And in first place is our current defending champion, Adam Rail, who finished the whole course, only finisher, two minutes and 46.39 seconds. Don't forget, at the World Championship, you can meet Adam Rail in person if you go. For alternate routes for the adult male division, uh, in third place was Alex Begali, who completed the swing toss. In second place was Ivan King, who completed the sonic zipline. And in first place was Tim Dexter, who completed the standard sting of holds. Uh, Unfortunately, no one competed in the adult female division. For Syracuse Ninja Barracks, for the adult female division, in third place was Mary Legton, who completed move. In second place was Sh- Shelby Mack, who completed Welcome to Jamrock. In first place was Kelsey Masarni, who completed Welcome to Jamrock uh, about seven seconds faster than Shelby did. And in the adult male division, in third place was Aiden Daniel, who completed Mellow Mood and qualified for World Championship. In second place was Keenan Doyle, who also completed Mellow Mood, but did so about uh, 15 seconds faster. And in first place was Joshua Vigo, who completed Coming In From Cold and qualified for the World Championship. For Grips Gym. In the adult female division, in third place was Allison Greff, who completed Jeep Halftime Show. (coughs) In second place was Sophia Oster, who completed Hands to the Face in 3 minutes and 34 seconds. And in first place was Michelle Warnke, who finally qualified for the World Championship by completing Hands to the Face with a time of 3 minutes and 9 seconds. For the adult male division... In third place was Antoine McKeldin, who completed Through the Tackles. In second place was Chase Brown, who completed Barry Sanders with a time of 3 minutes and 7 seconds. And in first place was Michael Borger, who completed Barry Sanders with a time of 2 minutes and 24 seconds. For Ultimate Ninjas, in the adult female division, in third place was Kristen Taylor, who completed Slide or Die and qualified for the World Championship. In second place was Avery Kaye, who completed Tank Hop and qualified for the World Championship. And in first place was Jesse Lebrec, who completed Tank Hop about 30 seconds faster and scored 10 points. For the adult male division, in third place was Cameron Baumgartner, who qualified by finishing the course in a time of 3 minutes and 38 seconds. In second place was Michael Torres, who completed in 3 minutes and 24 seconds. And in first place was Ethan Swanson, who completed with a time of 2 minutes and 39 seconds. For level up, in the adult female division, in third place was Megan Budway, who completed Spitty Roller Coaster and qualified for the World Championship. In second place is the always talented Rachel Brown, who completed the Pipe Slider. And in first place was Julia Bainbridge, who was the only female qualifier who finished with a time of 3 minutes and 12.57 seconds. Uh, it's worth mentioning that uh, Rachel Brown failed the final obstacle, unfortunately. She was so close. For the adult male division, in third place was Jonathan Castiana, who completed the pipe slider, which was uh, then, then failed the last obstacle. In second place was Jeremiah Lewis, who finished with a time of 2 minutes and 44 seconds. And in first place was Matthew Hall, who finished with a time of 2 minutes and 33 seconds. 
And in our final gym for the fast forward, True Function Ninja Training Ground, which was our one of our special international qualifiers over in England, uh, where uh, we had multiple people qualify from outside of the United States. Always great to have international competitors. For the adult female division, in third place was Dana Tyar, who completed the tire dash, which is uh, a decent amount through the course. In second place was Bethany Lodge, who completed the ring toss, 14 obstacles in, very deep in the course. And first place was Arlene Schubler, I, um, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, I apologize if that's incorrect, who completed the Lumberjack Ledges, which is 15 obstacles in. This is a long course. All three of our adult males failed the 18th obstacle. They were able to complete the Unstable Bridge, but couldn't make it past the 18th obstacle. In third place was Lucas Killian, who did so in 5 minutes and 44 seconds. Second place was Christian Christian Kerstigs, who did so in 5 minutes and 7 seconds. And in first place was Chris DeStefano, who did so in 4 minutes and 38 seconds. All these people qualified for the World Championship. Congratulations to all of you. Hopefully, we get to see you very soon. And now, to wrap things up, we're going to go over the results for High Exposure. For the adult female division, in third place was Caitlin Briganti. Caitlin did get hung up a bit on the broken bridge, but she was able to recover and was making her way through the course nicely until she got to the cheese boards. Unfortunately, she accidentally grabbed the top of one of the boards, which was deemed out of bounds, and she was disqualified on the obstacle. In second place was Kieran Hart. Kieran was able to reach the cheese boards faster than Caitlin did. However, she was unable to simply bridge the big gap in between the boards and she got hung up there for a long time. In fact, she got hung up there for the entire remainder of her time and she unfortunately timed out on the obstacle. And in first place is the queen of the leaderboard, Nikki Perella. Nikki took her time getting through the broken bridge, but she was still able to reach the cheese boards faster than any other woman. However, similar to Kieran, she was unable to make the big gap that was in the obstacle and she ultimately timed out on the course. But good for her because she's got 10 more points towards her season total. For the adult male division, in third place was Jay Mayer. Jay was able to solve the mystery of the cheese boards and was able to reach the peg wall climbing wall faster than anyone else who failed that particular obstacle. Because, well, he failed that particular obstacle. He was unable to keep the pegs in the hole and he slipped off and was eliminated at that point of the course. In second place was Noel Reyes. Noel was only one of two men to wrap his way through the pegboard rockhold wall, 
and he was making his way as fast as he could through the rest of the obstacles. Unfortunately, on this course, time is not your friend. And while he was on the final obstacle, he was unable to bridge the gap and time ran out at the same time. But that's good enough for second place. Come on, come on. And in first place was the king of the leaderboard, Judas Licardelio. Judas tried to keep a steady pace throughout the entire course, and he got a little slowed down by the pegboard, but he was able to make an amazing save on the seesaw beam. But unfortunately, just like Noel, he did not have enough time on the final obstacle, and he was unable to complete it within the time limit. But the good news is that he earns 10 more points towards his season total. Please make sure you subscribe to the National Ninja League YouTube channel, that's this channel, in order to watch the National Ninja League World Championship live. And you can still watch full runs from some of the qualifiers this season by clicking on this playlist. I'll see you soon at the World Championship. Bye everyone.